What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy, Smooth Blaze. And I would like to bring you back to Under Reconstruction, Transformation of the Mind, the Body, and the Spirit. Session 2, Part 1. Now, before we get into the important parts of this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my page. Also, select all on that notification bell so you do not miss one video. Now, on last week and for the last month, we kind of focused in on the mind. And one of the last topics we discussed is the pros and cons of mental health pressures. There's so many things in our lives from past pains to work to bills to past traumas just from a relationship standpoint or a networking standpoint. There's so many things that cause trauma that we have to find ways to channel it and get the help that we need. Now, for the month of March, what we'll be focusing in will be the body and understanding what that is. So a question that I have to ask myself is, what is my ideal weight? You know, everybody have a set standard of what size they want to look like and what um, what number looks like as far as their age, as far as their height. So one of the biggest things that we deal with is a few good examples. One, the world's view of weight versus reality. We know that everybody goes for this image that this is what it is, this is documented, you this height, you need to be this way, you need to be this size, and at this age, you do not need to go over this. That's the world's view versus reality. Reality says, look, I'm happy with my weight, or I'm okay, or I'm, I'm content where I'm at right now. I may not be there or be at the point where I need to be, but I'm content. Example two, self-comparison versus celebrities all the time we have this image or persona that this is the image of what we supposed to look like. I want to look like Dwayne Johnson. I want to look like 50 Cent. I want to look like um, Tybo, whatever it is, whatever person that you respect, as far as physique wise, you want to put all your effort and energy trying to display that. But honestly, your body is not genetically trained to be that way. So that's another part that we struggle with as well and overweight versus fit there is a constant war between people that's overweight and people that is a healthy size sometimes persons who are overweight are, are maybe jealous because these other people have a smaller frame and don't get as tired as much or can enjoy their lives without a lot of strength versus person that are small that wish they had a little meat on their bones. So it's always a constant fight between the two because it's always about somebody doing better or going above beyond the next person, which is unnecessary. But as I analyze all these examples, the first thing that comes to mind is standards. Now I researched a lot of definitions but this one stuck out to me the most. What it says is something established by authority, custom, or general consent as a model or an example. I think this definition is perfect because we have a certain image that we want to portray and we look at the reality of what we are right now and say, I got a long way to go. So one of the things that I've done for myself is I've tried to stop relying on the aspect of celebrities, other people to determine what I'm supposed to look like. So I want to drop a few jewels or some techniques that I use to get to my ideal weight. And if you really like this information or you want to write this information down, you know, this is just a suggestion. It's not mandatory, but look at the steps that I use in order to get through my, or get to my ideal weight. Number one, discover what is your why for losing weight. This is major. A lot of times people lose weight for weddings, 
um, for different uh, trips they want to go to, but that's not necessarily your why. My definition of why will be, I want to keep in shape and stay in shape so I can live long for my future family, for my future wife. Um, in order for me to be on this wealth gaining trip and owning my own business and doing all these major things, I need to be healthy and assertive with my mind and my body and my spirit. So all these go hand in hand, but my body only get one. So I have to treat it better than what I am. I have to change my diet because that is my why due to what I'm striving for, for my future generations. So I can then leave a legacy that they learn and they understand that managing your weight is a part of your life and it's part of maintaining your legacy. So that's my why, but you gotta find yours. Number two, understand where you are with your weight. For me, I'm at 202. My goal is to get back to 195, 185, something like that, in that range. And then I'll be kind of cool. I don't mind the weight. I just want to tone up a lot more. So I understand what my ideal goal is, and I'm working towards to get that. Number three, research what is the weight what weight is considered healthy for your height, for your age? So there's things online where you can type in healthy weights for this, that, and other. Try to look at that to project where you are currently right now versus where you want to be. Don't get discouraged by what you see because at the end of the day, we all ain't where we need to be. You could feel like you fit, but you probably might need to lose 10 more pounds. You might think I'm good, but according to this standard, this is what it is. Now, it don't always necessarily mean that you have to get to that number per se, but if you're in that ballpark, it changes a lot for you. So always keep that in mind. Number four, stop looking at celebrities as a standard image that you may achieve. Remember, celebrities and all these other persons, they have access to money, influence, and power. So they have a person that cooks their food on a daily, weekly basis. They have a trainer that they pay for for that. They have all these things because they're financially stable and they're able to get these things. Not necessarily downgrade you, but understand that they're at a different level, different standard. It's not to say that you can't get good things, but as you take care of your body and you get your personal trainer or you find somebody that has a keto you know, diet or something or they prepare food for you every week, those are ways that you can kind of compare yourself to them, but at the same time, just become the best version and being the best physique for you. Now, number five, take accountability of where you currently are, meaning, Stop blaming other people for the way that you're at right now and figure out what ways can I make these adjustments? Because at the end of the day, the world don't owe you no understanding. So at the end of the day, it's about measuring your gains versus measuring the gap. What this means is that when you're measuring the gains versus measuring the gap is be proud and take pride in those progressive progressive steps that you're taking and don't over underestimate them so always keep that in mind and finally number six no more excuses we live in a world where we have excuses for everything we complain about everything this ain't going right this ain't not all right Ask yourself this question every time you say, I can't do that. Why is it you can't do it? What is preventing you from this? Because at the end of the day, if you want something badly, you're going to make time and put energy towards it. So really does your health matter to you? So these six steps keep me in line so that I can maintain my healthy eating, my healthy um, working out, um, going to the gym, continually doing the things that I need to do. But at the end of the day, it takes repetition and consistency. So before we go, 
I would like to say thank you for checking out my YouTube page. Thank you for checking out this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my page. Also, select that notification bell so you do not miss one video. It is your boy Smooth Blaze. But before we go, you know what we're going to say. This phrase I stick with every day of my life. And I'm not just telling you this. I'm living it for myself. We cannot control the hand that was dealt for us. But we can always move with a purpose. It's your boy Smooth Blaze. And I'm signing out. Peace and love.